all right everyone hello and welcome back to the channel all right now so here are two videos that i found interesting that i wanted to share with you guys and uh, the video deals with the frauditor that we know as the siberian tiger the siberian tiger <laughs> now let me just say guys this is some real bull crap that you're going to see because this whole drama that this individual uh, uh happened to upload to his channel was all in reference to one of his vehicles getting repoed think about that crap okay uh, this is another knucklehead that uh, that goes out there harassing our law enforcement officers as well as public employees to uh, make a quick buck on social media now uh, let me also point out that the frauditor is Ukrainian and why I bring that into uh, bring that into the uh, mix of things right is because for the last few days now I've been watching his videos to get a better understanding of his way of thinking and then he has 22 videos uploaded right now I don't know if that individual uh, being that he's Ukrainian was he there when Russia started their bullcrap and then he ran out here with his family as we all know a lot of people uh, when that situation happened with Russia a lot of people packed their families up and left okay but I will give major respect to those who stood there to fight for their country much respect to those people that takes a lot of heart I remember for those of you that have been following my videos I remember news clippings that I were adding I was adding to videos that I was uploading to keep people updated on what was going on give uh, those Ukrainian people all the support they can get okay Dr that's some dramatic shit now you're talking Think about it, guys. That's like Russia trying to say we're coming into the USA to take you guys uh, over. And the local police out in Ukraine, that's uh, one of the news clippings that I added. That I found so much respect in that. The, the police out there were handing out rifles to the citizen. Here, fight for your country. If you believe in freedom or whatever here's your rifle and fight for your country I, I i tell you i admire that shit now again why i bring that up is because this individual frauditor who's ukrainian now okay and his about section in his youtube channel talks about uh he's dedicating to fighting for the people's rights the people's rights now mind you we all know that's bull crap anybody who believes that then you're really truly stupid okay the guy has figured out from watching other frauditors hey, uh, there's a market for uh, hatred towards law enforcement as well as uh, people that work for uh, the government, okay? So uh, he's another knucklehead out there trying to make a quick buck off of, uh, off of the harassing and the playing the bull crap, okay? And uh, let me just give you an example for those of you that might not be familiar with this a-ho. Let me give you an example of how he operates. That's your car. Take it easy, ma'am. It's not your car. It's my car. No, it's not. It's Step away from my car. It's and my car. Tell me what's in my car. Get away from my car. Or what? Get away from my car. Or what? Who are you? Five ball seven two. Yep. You get everybody out here. Get everybody out here. You don't break. Officer or deputy saying, am I am I detained? Am I detained? You need to. Am I detained? You need to. Am I detained? Yes or no? I'm not. I'm asking you to step away. I'm not. I'm not going to comply with your request. Am I detained? Am I detained? I detained, sir. That's right. Then if I'm not detained, I can stand wherever I want. Are we? Are we done here? From who? You're in my bubble, sir. In your bubble? You're funny. In your bubble. Okay. Bubbly bubble. <laughs> ah. <laughs> In your bubble. <laughs> well, maybe I want to burst your bubble. Out of my car, sir. <laughs> Step away from my car. That's my car. No, it is not your car. My car. No. My. No. Okay. 
Well, there you go. Another fool who has figured out that there is a market on social media for those that have uh, hatred towards our law enforcement officers as well as our public employees. Again, I'm going to say it. The audacity of uh, writing in his about section that he's out here fighting for people's rights. Uh, He just recently became a citizen of the United States. But in his videos that he has uploaded to his channel, not once, not once did he... uh, put anything out hey uh, could uh, all you guys that are subscribed to my channel could you give uh, some type of support in any way towards my home country Ukraine the home country granted that the USA is now granting him and that's also a kick in the ass okay uh, USA that is granting him and his family a safe place to live at here you are want to stab them in the back by playing your little bullcrap games of a uh, uh, public uh, vehicles and the public uh, you know the bullcrap that these knuckleheads do so again it's a slap in the face to the USA when you get an a-hole like this but I'm gonna say it again guys the drama that you're about to see is all in reference to a repo a repo one of his vehicles come on now all of us at one time or another have financed a vehicle and we have missed a payment or two and the bank is sending you those notices we're gonna come get your shit and instead of uh, getting up to date what well eventually they're gonna come snatch your shit up okay and that's exactly what happened let's get into the video Make sure I get their their plate work quick. What's the what's how do you pronounce Here, the plate? Oh, lower your window. My wife is in the car. If you take off, your asses are done. My wife is in the driver's seat. You take off. If you inside, no, your asses are done. Window, oh yeah, we know. We're just making sure for I'm our own you. purpose. My wife is in the car. Two four three five three. Two four three five three. You're on my private property, you take off, and I will defend my wife, your asses are done. Two, four, three, five, three. All right, so let me quickly mention, instead of going to the tow truck driver and communicating and saying, hey, uh, let me make a quick call to the bank. I could probably make a quick payment and uh, you could drop the vehicle, okay? But his solution was for his wife to jump in the driver's seat so that uh, legally the tow driver can't leave. Now, that shows you how petty it is. And what's even more pettier is when I read the comments and the supporters of the frauditor is not saying... Instead of saying, hey, guy, you're wrong, okay, you uh, fell behind on your payments, the tow driver is doing his job. No, oh, the tow truck driver is a tyrant. He's uh, on private property and all this other bull crap. And instead of being real to the frauditor, eh, eh, they support the, uh, the frauditor's harassment of law enforcement, so they're going to side up with him in anything he does. Tell, tell her to wait a little bit. At, at this point, we have no choice. We have no other car that can be let out. Hey, Dom Dom. You better lower my vehicle because my wife needs to leave. And right now, this is a kidnapping situation. The police you got a final warning. The I'm going to go inside, get my weapon. This and is I will, private property. I'm going to go get my weapon and I'm going to okay. defend my property. Okay. This is your final warning. You better lower it because I'm going to go inside and get a weapon. And you guys are going to be done. Go get it. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure. I was thinking of telling him. Just that. Ken? The okay. cops are almost here. Okay, fine. This is kidnapping, by the way. I'm gonna count to three. One. Two. But I don't hit anything. Three. Don't make this bad for yourself. Okay. They I, said cops I, are... I got a weapon. It's okay. Ba? I'm gonna be ready. Listen to me. You need to calm down. The cops are coming. Let the cops come and tell them Good. how dumb they are being. Good. 
what you did it might have been threatening but this is private no, property this is my property and i'm defending my family i didn't i didn't threaten anybody i warned them so think about what just came out of his mouth, that he has not threatened that tow truck driver in any way. But yet we all heard him say that if uh, the tow truck driver did not drop the vehicle, he was going to go into the home, which he did, and get a weapon and use it on him. Now, uh, keep in mind now, when you finance a vehicle and all that paperwork that you're signing, you're pretty much telling the bank that, yes, if you fall behind on a certain amount of payments, I, I don't know, I think it's like two or three payments. Payments, you're giving them that right to come snatch your shit up, okay? Now, nobody likes that to happen, but again, I'm going to say the tow truck driver is in the right to be there snatching that vehicle up, and uh, he is threatening. I don't care what anybody say. He is threatening that driver. I'm going to go inside, get my weapon. This and is I will... private property. I'm going to go get my weapon, and I'm going to defend my property. This is your They don't. They're third party. They have nothing to do with this. Giving you a warning, if you step out, you're gonna be a threat. So I suggest you stay in that vehicle, okay? Or you better leave my property. I've told you multiple times, you're on private property, you're trespassing, and you're stealing my property. And you're also kidnapping my wife, because you're not letting us to leave. So, this is your warning. You step out, and I will, I will defend myself. It's so crazy to think that there's still people who are this entitled. No, он может поехать свободно. Okay, а что он сделал? Кто он? This is third party. They have no right to take this vehicle. Да. The other guy said he was calling the cops yeah. when he was literally calling his boss. I hear him like, these guys are just, um, I'm tr you, you told me to pick up this order, but like, I can't because they're, they're on the car. There's a person inside, blah, 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 blah. Right. He said he was calling the cops. He's sitting here lying to himself. Hold on. <laughs> Nine B A eight Y seven zero five. Sheriff's office, put the pipe down now. No, that's my defense. You're on my private property, Sheriff. I didn't call you. You're on my private property. I did not call you. This is for my safety and defense. Okay. E D. Oh wow, they pulled all their guns. Good. That's funny. Good, good, good. Good for them. Now that's a different story. No, that's a serious problem. You're pulling your weapons on me when I have no threat to you. That's a serious problem. You guys are better get the hell off my property. You are not welcome. Get the hell off my property. And you better put your weapons away. I have children here. I have children here. I have young children here. Your asses better put your weapons away. You have crossed the line. Nobody approach my house. I'm telling you right now, nobody approach my house. You have been warned. All right, so let me just say that I have no respect for this a-ho. As you just heard him mention to the officer there that he has kids. Yes, he has a little one, okay? You will see further in the video. I'm not talking about the corrupted teenager that's there recording, okay? Uh, you know, in my opinion, we will be seeing this teenager out there harassing law enforcement because, hey, it's a quick, easy way to make a quick buck on social media. But again, all this drama over his vehicle being repo, which, again, I, could, I think we could all say, we understand you being upset, but the shit that he's doing... 
it's not the proper way to go about it. And his supporters, instead of being open with him and up front, hey, you're wrong in what you're doing. The driver has the legalities there to repo your vehicle. You're behind on your payments. Pay your damn bills, first of all, and you wouldn't have these problems. But, again, frauding is... Uh, Hey, it's corrupting him in a way that he feels that he can do just about anything he wants. Let's get back to the video. This is too much for me in one night. Your ass has crossed the line. I need to you film. Better you better get your sheriff out here. You crossed the line. You have drawn your weapons on my young children. You have drawn your weapons on young children. I did not call you. Whoever called you, you better get the hell off my property. I'm warning you. That's it. That's it. Get the hell off my property. Good thing we don't have tutor tomorrow. Stay behind the car. Because this idiots are gonna are gonna snap. I am not a threat to you. I was never a threat to you. I never called you and you drew your weapons on me. Your home, your you home. don't tell me what to do, I'm on my own property, I have not committed Go inside crime. your home! Get my ass! You want your hostage, you want your hostage. Go inside, now. I'm not going anywhere because this is my house. Oh, you know, my God. Try it! 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 How about I tell them that they're being filmed, huh? You know, how about I, how about I tell them that they're being filmed, huh? Stay behind the house. I am not committed a crime. You don't have any reason to believe that I did. And don't, don't point your lasers in my eyes. There are none. That's my wife that has been held against my against her will, idiot. This is crazy. You just you just knock, you just scratch the dome. I'm not leaving, but I'm protecting my family like you are. I am at my property, I am not a threat. You don't tell me what to do. This is not a SWAT situation, idiots. I have young children, and my wife is being held hostage. If you walk towards that car, you will get 40 and pepper. This is my right wife now. on my Stop property, walking. and she's being... You too. Go inside. Nobody's going inside. We have every right to be here and record. I'm on my own private property. That's right, fellas. I know you have something against me. I know for a fact. Why is there so many of you? What is this, a SWAT situation? Correct. Correct? Who's the victim? Who's the victim? Name a victim. I am a victim. My wife is the victim sitting in her car getting told by these morons. While vehicle is running on private property and you're telling me to go inside the house. Well, Dumbasses, road. take care of this situation. County road. This is private property. This is private. private Go read the signs. This is private road, private property, private driveway. Sign right in front of your car that says private drive. Read. Come on, you go now on. you've created this entire disturbance in this private, beautiful neighborhood. Because you got all these SWAT, SWAT teams. All right, so did you catch what came out of the frauditor's mouth? He is blaming police for all this drama happening in this uh, beautiful neighborhood. Holy crap. Again, I understand this knucklehead not liking the ideal of his vehicle being repoed. Anybody who has uh, finance or is financing a vehicle, hey, listen, I've been there. I've been behind a payment or two and I've gotten those phone calls and letters. Hey, if you don't get up to date uh, quickly, we're going to come. Um, get your shit again when the uh, tow truck driver hooked up to the vehicle listen driver is there any way that i can call
call the bank and make a payment or something like that and you could drop the vehicle? No, that wasn't his solution. His solution was to have his wife jump in the vehicle. Again, I uh, want to throw it as his wife is being held hostage by the tow truck driver when <laughs> realistically uh, she jumped in it and she can get out of that vehicle anytime she wants. So that to me is not a hostage situation. The police, the way they're getting the phone calls and the all, all the craziness being thrown out there, uh, they hear hostage, now they're on alert. And this knucklehead telling police that uh, you'll hear him making threats again. Uh, if they come on his property, he's going to uh, do what he got to do. Again, you're threatening, you're making threats, and you're just the shit that's coming out of his mouth and then he makes it sound as if the police are wrong here and and the supporters they, listen I will put a link to the video I want you guys to make an effort to redress your frauditor after reading the comments on there I get so aggravated because I'm saying damn it there's no way in hell by watching this can you blame law enforcement in any way no way in hell you can blame the tow driver for doing his damn job and the frauditor he's the only one that in my opinion is guilty here and yet his supporters are the damn tow truck drivers are tyrants the police were tyrants and i'm saying holy crap that's the hatred talking there again a link for the video will be in the description redress your frauditor damn it This is my private property. I can move. understand what I am saying. To I don't give a you. damn what you're saying. You have no authority okay. over me. Well, I have not committed the crime. Be on you. I have not committed the crime. You have zero authority over me. Kiss my ass. Okay. My wife is a victim. You I'm a victim. My whole family well. is not victimized by you. I guarantee you this is going to make the news. It better make the news. So I suggest you better find some really smart person, take care of this issue real quick, because this is going to be definitely in the news. You drew weapons on my young child. Cops right there, right there, everywhere. Multiple times, multiple times you drew weapons. Wow. Now they pulled riot shields. Look over there. They pulled riot shields. It says private road right there. Private road on the main street. Dummies, that's and it. And all I'm Whatever. trying to do is protect my family. And instead of you guys protecting me, you come in here threatening my family. <sighs> Get this dummy ass out of my property. There, you don't have any right authority now. over me, understood? Zero. I suggest you get the hell off my property. That's what I'm telling you. I suggest you get the hell off my property. I have told multiple times to you, to him, that you're trespassing on my property. I did not call your assistance. You here hey. unlawfully. Hey. Did he call you? What's your first name? Go deal with him. My name is not important. Okay, Mr. Nine Porin, you are under arrest for felony harassment. Of, of who? People on the tow truck. The, they're trespassing hey. on my property. And I'm only speaking You're freely. For felony harassment. I don't think okay. so. I don't think so. They're, they're the ones who are threatening me and harassing me and my family. They're blocking me, kidnapping my wife, and not allowing me to leave, and not allowing my wife to leave. And you're threatening me with an arrest? Yes, sir. <laughs> Try it. Try it, buddy. It's not a You're under Try it. Try it. Don't go that way. Huh? I'm gonna tell you right now. Why can't I call who? Your wife is free to leave her car. Lawyers? My advocate. That's okay. Advocate. Ah. Am I more on private property speaking freely and I'm harassing right. them? They're the ones who are breaking the law. On private property, but you're under arrest. For what? I already told you. What probable cause do you have that I have committed that crime? Harassment. harassment. Define that harassment. My my freedom of speech is harassment. My freedom of speech is harassment. Yeah. Watch us with nothing in your hands. Yeah, goodbye. Do not enter the residence. Force may be used against you. 
You have no lawful authority to make the arrest. You have no lawful authority to make the arrest. Зайдите. Зайдите домой. Зайдите домой. Зайдите домой. Open the window and record from there, потому что this is gonna get ugly. Oh, exactly, exactly. That's why this is exactly retaliation. You knew where you were going. You knew where you were going. Yeah. Fellas, fellas, I dare you to arrest me. I will bankrupt your insurance company and I will make it every public event. You knew exactly the house you were going to because you have an issue with me because I have been challenging, I have been challenging Clark County. Get a warrant. Get a warrant, fellas. Bandit force is going to be used against you if you do not comply. What do you want me to do? Walk towards us. Go away! Go away! Go away! Away from this! This is tear gas! Don't breathe this! That's what I'm doing! They're gonna they're in the back of the house too, aren't they? I don't think so. I don't think they've entered that way yet. <coughs> I'm going upstairs. Open the window. They're in the backyard. <coughs> they unlawfully shot tear gas. If you smell something funny, instantly go for a fresh breath of air. Just do not go too close to the window. Go! Mom's bathroom. <coughs> Go into mom's bathroom now. You need to shower. Do I bring Tovi? No. It's a mom. Yeah, grab Tovi. Grab Tovi out of here. Tovi, come with me now. Closet. The mom's closet? Yeah, it's in the smallest windows now. <coughs> you mean mom's bathroom? Actually, no. Go into the bathroom. Go into the bathroom. <coughs> Don't turn on the lights. Don't turn on the lights. Stay here. Stay <coughs> here. Be careful. Tovi. You good? Bring us water if you can. You are not welcome to get the hell off my property. Freudenberg, where are you at? I'm gonna go over there. Okay, who do we have here? Nobody. Approach my house. Taser. You have 40. been warned. Cover wall. Okay. Well, it's Christian. All right. Don't cross your hands, hands up. You got thing in your hands. You better get the sheriff out there. Hands up. You crossed the line. You have drawn your weapons on my young children. Who's that over there? Freud. You have drawn your weapons on young okay. children. Okay. Freud and Holsey, you stay I there. I did not call you. Yeah. We're going to take a couple more yep. over on this side. Okay. And we're going to L off on him and try to perform the rescue on them. Okay. Uh, who do I have here? Christian. Christian? Yeah. Who do I have here? Langlois. Christian and Langlois, you're going to come with Fisk and Shin. Luke, you're coming with me. We're going to go plus up on Nielsen. Okay. To the right? To the right of my patrol car. Nielsen, I'm sending some to flush you up. Go inside your home. We want your hostages. Go inside your home. Kiss my ass. We want your hostages. You have hostages. Go inside your home. Do it now. Nielsen, you run that team and see if we can't get to the hostages in that truck. If you fail to comply, force will be used against you. Go inside your home. Do it now. Try it. 
Okay, Lyle plus up with Holsey over there. Nielsen, can you uh, confirm there's people in that truck? You're holding them against your will. Go inside your home. That's my wife that has been held. You're holding them against your will. Go inside your home. Okay, I want to area deny him. So we want to push up. Nielsen, we're pushing up. We're pushing up. Go inside your home. Do it now. Go in your home. Go in your home. We're here for the hostages. I'm at the property. I'm not a You don't know what you're doing. Is that truck is covered? Yep. Woman to the right. Go inside your home. Go inside. No way to go inside. We have every right to be here in the door. I'm on my own private property. Hey, can you kill the tones, please? And will you log several use of force announcements uh, advising him that if he moves towards the truck, force will be used against him? And at this point, we have uh, obstructed. Then she come out. Mm -hmm. And then I was saying, uh, yeah. you can go plus up that team that's in front of the tow truck there. Nielsen, Morgan's coming to you, and I'm working on that now. And then he started hitting the window on the driver's side. Uh, you don't Your get window? Out of here and yeah, the, the driver's side. He was in the driver's seat. Gotcha. Um, okay. And, what, what and then told us deal? if we got out of the truck that he'd consider us a threat and he would defend himself. <laughs> and she told us to open the windows and watch the door. So, so a weird question. When he stated those things. He said you were in fear for your life? Oh, yeah. And for him to be doing that in front of his children? I have kids. Mm -hmm. Okay, what do we have? Uh, so, okay. you want to be a victim of a crime? Yeah. Okay. okay. PC felony harassment on recording that, right? And then, can we confirm that life is in the Jeep still? He said, has she gotten out of the vehicle? She got in, like I said, after She's still in the She's still in the vehicle. And wife is still in the vehicle. The Jeep in the front. And we have, we have dash cam lights. Perfect. Mm. Do we have a felony harassment I mean, on all three or just the guy in the orange? So I wasn't okay. in the uh, at this point, uh, guy in the orange for sure. We're working on the other two. All right, Morgan, you're going to be the primary. Frydenberg, you'll be less than the back. Yeah, she's on the driver's seat. She's locked in. Exit out. Come out of the car. Copy. <laughs> huh? 
What? Nah. Yeah, I'm getting ready to. Get out of the car. Ma'am, that's a lawful order. If you don't do so, we're going to smash your window. We're going to smash your window if you don't come out. Huh? Open the door. Exit the vehicle. Is she under arrest? At this point, obstruction. Hey, you're obstructing with a law enforcement investigation. You need to exit out of the car. I'm going to break this window. Do you understand that? You're under arrest for obstruction. Exiting the car. Okay. Watch those top windows. You got a window break? Check that door. Okay, all the doors are locked. All right. We're going to pop this window. Make sure there's no kids or anything in the back seat. And then we'll unlock the door. Put in the trunk. See, it's clear. This is your last chance. Exit the car. You're gonna be You're under arrest for obstruction. Perfect. Watch your eyes. Watch this. Ready? Oh man. Let's try a different point. Around there. Yep. Get it? Exit the vehicle! You good? Yeah, reach through. Yeah. Okay. Come on, we have to get this. I can't reach the, uh, the lock. I don't want to break the window with her there, though. Yeah. Exit the car! Hey, give me a second! No, exit the car now! Yeah, you got three seconds to that car, you're getting peppered. One, two, three. Get out! Get out of the car! Stop for a second. Yes, you are. Drop what's in your hand. Drop your keys now, you're gonna get peppered now. Seven, five, six females out of the car being detained.